Hey what's up guys and welcome to this new tutorial where we're gonna show you how to make the cows like Endor. Here's a quick preview. So before starting with this tutorial I would like to remind you that all of the sample used in this project are from our pack Rapture 2 which is a minimal deep tech collection that includes one shots midis, loops and much more and you can check it out from the link in the description below. So the first channel here is the original track and we have used this only for the build up. Then we have the vocals. Here just an equalizer cutting the low frequencies. Then we have the kick drum. So the first plugin is the Transient Master and as you can see we have used it to reduce a lot of the attack. And then we have uh, uh, Pro Q3 to remove these resonant frequencies and uh, to reduce uh, some of the eyes. Then we have the bass line, which is made of two layers. That's the first one. So we have used the Ableton operator to do this bass line. We have a first oscillator with a sine 8 bit and we have a second oscillator with a saw wave and on this second oscillator we have reduced the coars to 0.5. Also we have changed the algorithm to this kind of shape here and then we have a normal EQ cutting the really low frequencies because this is just the top part. Then we have really a lot of saturation so as you can see the drive is 45% and the crunch is 69 but we have reduced the dry wet knob here. Then a tiny bit of compression, just a couple of dBs. And obviously at the end the LFO tool for the sidechain. Then we have the main baseline. So the notes are basically the same here. What is changing is the preset on the operator. So here we have on the oscillator A a normal sine wave while on the oscillator B the SO8 and once again here the oscillator B has been reduced to 0.5 for the coarse and uh, yeah the algorithm is the default one and also we have reduced the frequency of the filter. Then we have an equalizer cutting everything below 30 Hz. Some saturation here as you can see it's a bit less aggressive, the crunch is at 28% and the dry and wet is at 45. We went a bit heavier on the compressor instead with 4 to 5 dB of compression. And at the end, as always, the LFO tool for the sidechain. Let's go into the drums. So we have different layers here. The first one is this clap. So here we have used the bass A, which is this one, which has this 
drums room reverb preset so we've used this reverb also on all the other drums and this is to create the fact that all the drums were recorded in the same room then we have this second clap only on EQ cutting the low frequencies We have this third clap, which actually is doing something a bit different. So we have the clap playing also on the kick. Obviously we have reduced the velocity a little bit so that it won't interfere with the kick. And as you can see, we also have quite a bit of reverb and this in general creates kind of a similar ambience to the one that we have in the original song. Then we have some open hi-hats, that's the first one. So here a frequency shifter reducing the frequency as you can see. and the uh, EQ cutting the low frequencies. Then we have uh, a second open eye yet. Here this EQ is removing uh, some lows and uh, this resonant frequency. And at the end of the drum section, we have this top loop. So first thing, it's an equalizer cutting the lows. And then we have this Newton free transient shaper that we have used to increase the sustain and reduce the attack. Going into the drum bus itself, we have the first plugin, which is the Devastor. It's a distortion plugin. So we have used this preset, which is called Bus Trap, and this is how it sounds. Then we have a bit of saturation with the Saturn 2. So we have mainly worked on the top and the mid band. So here we have reduced the top band by around 1 dB, while on the mid band we have increased the drive of the saturation. We have used some clean tube saturation and we have also increased the mids together with the overall level. Final channel for this project is the vinyl effect, which is stock from Ableton. Yeah, so that's all for this tutorial. Now you can hear the full result. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out Rapture Volume 2 from the link in the description below. Also let us know what tutorials would you like to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!